It's that simple. It's ready to go. Well, Dave, what's unique about this? Well, there's no attachment at all to the trip to the way uh, wheelbarrow. You take off the two pieces. You got your wheelbarrow back, and off you go. Want your trailer back? Slider on. It's uh, it's simple. It's an easy weld. Two parts plus the pins and uh, it's the wedging that's the trick the slope and pitch of the handles makes a wedge when you put these two together so you don't need to bolt anything to the axles or to the handles or whatever it just wedges itself right to the hitch of your ATV I wanted one so I built one and we're in business now, bud. We just need to find the right partner. I hope somebody sees this as cool. I, I'm glad I've got mine. I think uh, some other people will want it too. So, uh, it stores with it on. It stores with it off, of course. It's, uh, it's just perfect for a job like this. I had two trees to take down and uh, needed to pile them up in the front. All I had to do was cut them and throw them on the wheelbarrow and, and uh, drive them up there. If I had to wheelbarrow that up there, I'd be so much more tired. I got the ATV, the kid's just not a kid's toy, it's a work, it's a work machine. And even this rather low cost, two temper, eight cubic footer uh, works just super. If you bought the commercial version for another hundred bucks, you get the run flat tires with the wider stance and the big fat tires and it's what this system works on both of them. So, um, so why not? Why buy a two, three hundred dollar trailer when you've already got your wheelbarrow? You got to have a wheelbarrow for some things just to get in and out. And for a person working in the woods like I do, I can take it off. I can get back into a tight spot, load it up, take it to ten feet or whatever I need to to get to my ATV and hook it on, and away we go. Talk about the space in the garage. Oh yeah, well. You know, to put this thing into the garage is, uh, it takes the same amount of space as the wheelbarrow. So now I've eliminated having to buy it. You know, I've got a good size barn over here, but I've got my tools in there. I've got my bikes in there. I don't have room for a wheelbarrow and a trailer, but a wheelbarrow on end, I got room for it. Now I got my trailer and my wheelbarrow and they both fit in there. And I didn't have to spend twice the money, three times the money this in order to get both. So I've got the solution I need, and uh, on my 20 acres here, and all the woods, what a treat. This is really gonna be fun. Uh, this is the first time I've used it, Holland, and uh, what a what a energy saver. So I'm really pleased with this thing. I, uh, I think it's a great product. If you're in like this, you're in trouble anyway, but uh, uh, that's, that's plenty of turn radius. And, uh, we tried the two inch tongue. We went to inch and a half. We tried wider plates. We think that this four inch bar stock and this inch and a half is able to carry everything that this, uh, this kind of wheelbarrow can carry. Even a 10, a 10 cubic footer would, uh, would handle this.
thanks for looking at it and if it makes sense to you just let us know I think uh, I think it's eminently uh, patentable. The patent's uh, being applied for uh, this week. Uh, we've uh, done all the research and all the other patents bolt on uh, somehow. So here's one that just slips on and snaps together and ends up being a, a full system ready to go with all the, uh, the, the tension down, the tension sideways. It creates a full trailable unit and yet does it without any attachments to the wheelbarrow itself, just wedging. So. Uh, we're, we're pleased. We've got the weight down from 20 some pounds to half that, less than half that, um, and yet it's still really durable. So we've, we've learned some things along the way and uh, we're, we're ready to uh, you know, give it to somebody who's going to finish the engineering and, and make it into a full product. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be buying one though, I think mine works just fine. That simple. It's ready to go.